It is a rematch of the 2022 World Championship won by Iran. Rahman Amuzad Khalili, the 20-year-old world gold medalist. Ready. Trying to get Iran on the board after dropping the first two weights. Khalili matched up against Yanni Diakamahalis. It was Khalili with a 13-8 win against Diakamahalis the last time they met for a world gold in Belgrade. And now in Coraville on a chilly night in December. What will round two have in store? Yakima Hollis in the red, Khalili in the blue. Now you go back, Christian, to the world championship match between these two, and Khalili was able to get to his underhooks, especially in the second period. That's when he cranked up the offense and created a little bit of separation from Yakima Hollis, and immediately right out of the gate, he's going to drive him near the edge, but Yakima Hollis was grounded, so no step out point. Yeah, and, and one thing you notice about Khalili is his arms are like the the length of most people's legs. And, and because of that, he's able to generate a lot of leverage when he gets to his underhooks and, and you know, really create a lot of pressure and, and, and generate offense from there. So, you know, he, he's a... He's a tough person to really scout and understand because what you see is really not what you get. Iran grabs their first lead of the night. It comes from the world champion Khalili as he gets the two on Diaka Mahalis. Khalili, a two-time 46-kilo cadet world champion as he was just getting his career started, 2018-2019. And then he just took off, won the Asian Continental title inside, eh? last spring, followed up with the World Championship, I one of the move. young leaders for Iran. And a good start Center. here as we approach Center. the halfway point of this first period, able to get the takedown, dictating the mat control through the first 90 seconds as well. Action red. Yeah, and I, I, one thing you, you notice about Yanni is he wants to generate those scrambles. So the more Action offense red. that Khalili is able to generate, the more difficulty, uh, Center. Or, or, or the more opportunity Yanni has to really play into his wheelhouse where he, he likes to be. So. Action red. And, you know, I was, I, I was talking earlier about how the length of Khalili's arms Red passive. It's so hard to get to his legs because when he keeps a hand down, it's always on the mat. Well, head taps by Diaka Mahalis. Really solid position, center of the mat. Red. Yanni talked about it in the press conference to start the weekend that, you know, he's made adjustments from their world final. And you know, he, he was excited for this opportunity Action to get down. to wrestle. Completely goes right back to work, right arm under hook. Driving Diaka Mahalis near the edge. Momentum carries them out of bounds. Again, grounded, so no point. Ten seconds to go in this opening period. Takedown by Khalili. In the early stages, that has been the offense so far. And one thing Khalili mentioned several times in the opening press conference this weekend, he says he feels like a soldier fighting for his country. And he's got to do the best he can because they came here to win. And, and at least after you try this, huh? You know, okay. it, it just Thank you. the way these guys compete, they really give it their all. And you know, these next three minutes are, are going to be are going to be fun. Try this. Try that. Ronnie and Roster with five right. senior world medalists. Seven yes. others have won okay. world medals okay. at various age group levels. Okay, okay. Even though they're missing a couple big names, just like the United States is. 
Still a lot of star-studded talent in the Iranian lineup tonight. Two to nothing as we start period two. Khalili out in front. Now Diakaba Hollis on that outside single. Cracks down on the right leg. First real scoring opportunity for Diakaba Hollis. Trying to work his way around and he gets the takedown. And the two immediately goes right into a gut. Unable to Activate. muster any type of turn from Parterre. And we go back to the feet tied at two apiece. And that was a nice outside shot by Ronnie in the boot scoop. Wow. Lightning quick. Use that elbow. Ducked right underneath. Ramon Khalili. Khalili will come right back at Diaka Mahalis after he rattled off four unanswered. Stay inside, Ray. In this opening minute of the second period. Khalili going back to his bread and butter. The Right side under hook, but for the third time, driving Diaka okay. Mahalis out of no bounds. Answer. Nothing to center. show for it. Back okay. into the center. Two minutes to go. Four to two, Diaka Mahalis. Couple of takedowns in this period. Same move here by Diaka Mahalis. Comes back in underneath. Khalili lifting him up and over the top. Will do it a second time, and this time he will get the two. First time, no points awarded. Second time, he was able to get the exposure. And we're tied at four. Criteria swings to Khalili. And now this is where I feel as if Khalili has the advantage because you're going to see Diak Mahala start to chase a little bit. So in that first period, it's where Khalili had the advantage. Diak Mahala chase but unable to score in that first. So Lillian was down, he chased. Created the lead for himself and Diak Mahal is doing a really good job remaining smart, staying grounded when they get towards the edge. Center. 77 seconds to go in the rematch of the World Championship Final. A high scoring final in Belgrade back in September. Not as much offense here in the rematch with 62 seconds to go. Tied at four, criteria right now with Iran and Khalili. Ready to stay inside. Accept blue. So much pressure with Khalili, a patented Iranian underhook. And another restart. 42 seconds to go. Big, big wait for Iran after dropping the first two. Can their world champion get them on the board? They need this one here. And underhook, this is where the Iranians are good. Khalili with a scoring opportunity. Diaka Mahalis as the momentum goes out, and one is going to be confirmed. Khalili gets the step out point and a 5 4 advantage. Really not a huge factor there if you're in the United States. Diaka Mahalis knew he was going to have to score from his feet with the tiebreaker, and now he needs a takedown. Khalili trying to keep all his windows of attack closed. Sticks in the double unders. Clock to five. Khalili dodges out of the way of a missile from Diaka Mahalis. And for the second straight time, Ramana Muza Khalili has defeated Yanni Diaka Mahalis. Iran celebrates their first win of the night. And it's now two to one in the United States. And that was, that was a barn burner. Both guys left it all out there. A lot of high flying action. And Diak Mahalis gave it everything he had. And the sign of respect. The young 
20, your old four year on victorious 5 4, your final. Ramon Amuzai Khalili. She talked about Christian, the respect between these two athletes, both young superstars in the sport.